Chino, California, the Yanks Air Museum. Well, this is the first hangar. Pretty nice stuff. Pretty nice old stuff. Including a Curtis Jenny. Look at the bell, my friend. Too many to call out. Cessna. This looks like Spirit of St. Louis. Even have an auto gyro here. Now we're getting the newer aircraft, and here is a P 47 Thunderbolt. Well, here's the info, info. German V 1. And there are a few cars, but again, this car, the airplane that looks like a Spirit of St. Louis. It's a V1. A very crowded hangar. Gypsy Moth. Travel Air. Challenger, Curtis, Command Air, and this is a Cub, a Standard, and a Cloud Boy. Fantastic wood construction, along with a Model T in the background, biplane. Again, it's called a standard. And back to the Jenny. This is called a Wright Flyer. It's a replica. And more. It's called an A1. Swallow training plane. 1920 flying boat. Navy flying boat called the Yellow Pearl. Just for a moment going back, this is a Curtis Robin, very well-known aircraft. Taking quite a leap forward in progress, P-51 Mustang, P-38, and AT-6. And this Mustang is unique because it has, it doesn't have the bubble canopy. Very early model. Also, it has a three-bladed prop, and look at here, here's the bubble canopy four-bladed model. An air coupe. When they were introduced, they said, everyone can fly. Hmm. Another large radial engine aircraft. Well, P-38 in the background is a B-25. It's called an airborne dozer. Doesn't have a caterpillar sign inside. Doesn't make it a bulldozer. <laughs> this is an owl observation aircraft. L5 Sentinel, another observation aircraft. What a place. V25. P38. Of course, you've got the Piper Cub there in the ceiling and all these others. This is just, but you know, the auto gyro. Forward travel with a big radial engine and a helicopter blade on the top to keep it up with no wings. And the accompanying Jeeps. Even uh, turrets were displayed. Let's get back to Cessna for a minute. That's what you call 
Real basic, real primitive. This is called a fawn. A similar color. In a similar color, Curtis Robin. We're in the next hangar now. Obviously it looks like some Navy aircraft, in particular here, F-18 Blue Angel. Where do you start, where do you finish? Douglas Dauntless. Oh, things to come, Bel Air Cobra. And Hellcat. Wildcat. The Bel Air Cobras. Amazing. Air Cobra, incredibly rare. Mid-engine. From the Beller Cobra, this is the King Cobra. And the engine. And another P-47 Thunderbolt. And mixed in here is the Stagger Wing Beechcraft. And this is an Electra Junior, similar to what Amelia Earhart flew in. What an exhibit. Next to the Dauntless is the Japanese suicide kamikaze aircraft. There are endless cabinets of model airplanes. Check out the F-18 Blue Angels. The basic parts. Now from the uh, F-18, this is a uh, Northrop trainer. The Republic of China. Single seat tandem rotator helicopter. Cougar Navy based. Carrier based surveillance aircraft. A4 Skyhawk. Blue Angels used these originally. Very high off the ground. Chinese trainer. Nationalist China. Navy version of the F-4 Phantom. Top Gun. F-14 Tomcat. Swing wing. Carrier. Aircraft. Now we're into the Air Force, F-15 Eagle. The Delta Dart. And the F-15. The F-100. Came after the F-86. And the F-86 is sitting right there. F-86. Sitting in the middle of it all is the uh, Harrier vertical takeoff jet. The F-14 Tomcat, huge. Wicked. F-15 Eagle.
couple of close-up shots here. Here's the Harrier and the wing. The Harrier and others in this hangar. Navy on this side. And the Air Force on this side. Great museum. I have a demonstration here of a radial engine. Yes. Connecting rods, balance, pistons, the work. 18 cylinders. Hangar 2. Helicopters. Thunderbolt. And the ceiling is loaded with flying missile drones. Here's an Allison engine exposed. We're now in the restoration shop. Here's one of those gliders they used in D-Day. In progress, Helldiver. You got the glider now. Yeah, they carry coming up as a uh, TBF Avenger being restored. And here's a Corsair. Next to a Bearcat. Bearcat. And a Corsair. Right next to the door is a P-40 being restored. While we're now outside, I don't want to call it the junkyard, because this is not junk. The restoration yard. Starfighter. Constellation. Starfighter. Planes just being worked on. Wicked. Obviously it's retired, but this is a two-seat Thunderbird F-16. The F-16 has one of the most dramatic undercarriage. Small portion of the B-52. You identify him. But here is the original Learjet. This, believe it or not, is an F-4 Phantom. Or was, should I say. A little hot. McDonald. Voodoo, I think. Want an engine? Take your pick. Of course, it's got to fit in the right aircraft here. Very rare, sluggish aircraft. This is a Ford tri-motor. Well, again, I say was. Unbelievable. Here's a B-24. Now, granted, this is the new version. Has another nomenclature to it, but that is a B-24 with a single tail. This is fun. And what we have here is the Curtis Commando. 
So you got the B24, and I'm going to call it B24, even though it has a single tail. And here's a Sky Raider. And then a Curtis Commando. C46, I believe. Yep, Curtis Commando. Used in the China Theater, mainly. Jets, jets everywhere. McDonald. I have a few belly tanks. And a few jets. Jet engines, jet engines. Oh, it's so random here, and that's what's so fun about it. And so that was the Yanks Air Museum in Chino, California. The Plains of Fame Museum. Chino Airport. We're now at the Plains of Fame Air Museum in Chino, California. And one of those Plains of Fame is a B-17. B-17. Well, it looks like one of them kind of uh, landed hard or got shot down. Just entered the museum. These are all Boeing aircraft. These are, this one here in the middle here is uh, just put on the carrier Langley uh, and uses uh, in the Navy. This is a Sabursky. This is a replica of the Wright Flyer. And uh, you can see because of their bicycle background, we'll move the planes Stearman. Down as they're starting to do but now. We have a number of F-86s here. Yes. Yes. Really Here's a is that Thunder Chief, which is really the Thunder photo. This aircraft was designed to be carried by a B-36, and that tail folds up like a wing on a Navy aircraft. How's this? Two F-86s. No, they're just moving big show this weekend. They're moving some of the aircraft out on the apron. That's the third F-86. This is sort of designed to look like it's the hangar on a carrier. And what you have here is a number of Navy aircraft. That Just made like a, a carrier. gas problem. F-4 Corsair. And from the Corsair, we were. have a <laughs> Douglas Dauntless. In fact, and uh, used it in the movie Midway. So Charlton Histon sat in that. Oh, okay. This is a Ryan Fireball. Engine. It's part uh, recipient engine and part jet aircraft. It's used to compete uh, with the uh, kamikaze, so the speed. Yeah. Test aircraft, but here is the results of the uh, one, jet engine. What's interesting about Grumman. this is this has a uh, Rolls-Royce engine, and Grumman was designing a plane with two engines, and, Gr and Rolls-Royce came along and said, why don't we make it with a single engine, because our engine is more powerful than your two put together. Like I said, the hangar in an aircraft carrier. The feeling is here. Now looking back into the hangar, here is a TBF torpedo bomber. It's enormous. And the folding wing. So here we are out of the B-17 for a moment. Some of the bombs. And Yes, Maybe a blockbuster. Yep, B-17. And of course, under one of the engines, the ball turret and the fuselage. General Electric, radial engine, apart. Rolls-Royce engine here, like from a Spitfire. Of course, the restoration facility is here. Nice Bel Air Cobra. That's three already this morning. 
Sometimes you fall into it. This is Steve Hinton, and he's getting in his F-86, and they're going to start it momentarily. Well, the helmet's going on. Back to the museum. Fly? Now, from all that noise and everything, hear the quietness of the hangar. Mustang B-25, and of course, here is the flying wing that flies very well. Yeah. yeah. What a place. No, no, he's taking off. <laughs> yeah. B-25. This is an A. Mustang. B, I think. 450s. But uh, now we're going to get a thrill here. This has through the B25. Here's the, the Messerschmitt. All, uh, this is uh, going to be used exactly. in the movie oh, Dunkirk that's yeah, coming out yeah. or being oh, produced. Yeah. Well, that was like Another look. This has an Allison engine in it, not the no. original uh, no, uh, no, German engine. And back here you got a Navy hey, on and early Navy. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm now from the Messerschmitt, here is the original so like the Bell P-59 yeah. American jet, right. one of the, well, the first one. All right, gentlemen. A very exciting and historical place. This Messerschmitt's a Spanish Spanish A very great Mustang. And this is the early model, without the bubble canopy and three-bladed prop. Yeah. <laughs> Where else do you get? a hands-on experience like this museum. So we're going to just see a few planes lying around. Display area. Unfinished. Take your choice. And this is a tiger cat here. Well, the jet came back. So here's hangar number three, or should I say number four. This is a Japanese Mitsubishi Zero with an original engine in it. Now from the Zero, here is a Folk Wolf. Incredible. Oh, I have to look at this and just stare at this because this is a rarity of the first magnitude. A rarity to say the least. Folk Wolf. This is a Russian Yakov. This is a Yokosuka. Code name, they call it a Judy. And then here's a Mitsubishi. It's called a Raiden, and in other words for it is Thunderbolt, and it's very similar in its fatness as the uh, United States plane called Thunderbolt, and a Japanese rocket plane, similar to the German design. Japanese, German design. And of course, get into the German field, like V1. This is a rocket plane it's called the Viper, and of course, a reconnaissance plane called the Storch. And lying above us all is a Bristol. This sort of personifies the German effort in World War II yep. and World War I. This is a Henkel. And then you've got a rocket glider or something. All kinds. And this is a glider, and I have an idea it was hanging from an aircraft, or probably a dirigible, German design. A jet engine on top of that aircraft, and here is a BMW jet engine. And coming up is another Messerschmitt. Yep, a Messerschmitt. Messerschmitt. And a German rocket plane. 
flown in the Battle of France and the Battle of Britain, this Messerschmitt. And there's a rocket engine right there in the foreground. God, this is just a cornucopia of fabulous aircraft. History. Now we have another German aircraft here. This is a Hinkle. Hinkle, and then of course here's a uh, BMW motorcycle. One. Now here's a model of a V1 missile launcher. Of course there's the Messerschmitt, and here's a Fokker tri-wing. Famous Red Baron. I showed this earlier at the entrance, but this is a Yak. Oh, hum, you just got a spare F-86, maybe a couple of wings. Take them. We're eventually going to get to the P-38. <laughs> the Russian. Of course, the P-38 we're going to talk. Then we're going to get into some MiGs. And, of course, another F-86. And an F-100. Uh, here you have a Russian jet, a MiG. Okay. Midget racing planes, including a GB. Curtis no 12 cylinder racing engine. Pontoons. I'm in awe. 1825 Curtis racing. Another pontoon aircraft. GB. This Chevrolet. Some names you might remember, the Bendix Air Races. A Marchi, or Marchetti, Marchetti. Excuse the pronunciation, Italian for the Schneider Air Races. Another name of a race. They're moving aircraft around this very day, so things are a little disordered. There goes the jet out the door. The um, Russian jet. That's where at a Russian jet port right now with this MiG being moved around. Russian MiG-17, Vietnam period. We got an American F-80 here, obviously two-passenger. This is the kind of experience you get here. You got the F-100 and F-86. I do a lot of fundraising and, and I have a program where I bring... So we take out the MiG and we bring in the F-86. Which just flew. It's kind of a used airplane lot here. All to the good. Russian. F-80 or originally called a P-80. Here's a British jet aircraft. Boy, the engine is fat on this thing. Twin boom British jet. And so is this one. The Havlin Vampire. The Havlin Vampire. You got the Douglas Skyrocket. You got the MIG for the MIG. And you got another MIG. And another MIG. Just a cutaway of this jet engine. This is the MiG-21. Big. Now back to the air racing aircraft. Italian.
racing engines. And we mentioned the racing seaplanes. Well, look at the wingspan of this blue one here. And it just keeps going. I said it before, I feel like I'm in Korea. A Russian airbase. Then there are a couple of American aircraft. Here's another MiG. A little... Now for the P-38. Its own separate hangar. P-38. This room is sort of set up like all the support for the aircraft as well. And you got jackets in there and all the uniforms and everything. So the P-38 has its own place here at the museum. Even in the back, the Bell X-2. Well, we're in the sort of uh, scrapyard, I don't know, you might call it outdoor museum, M4 tank. Yeah, the U.S. mainstay tank. Things to come. Now we've been looking at F-86s today, and here's the Navy version, which has the uh, folding wings for carriers. And the remaining group. And the two McDonald jets, slightly different, with a scoop underneath the nose. Earlier model, later model. And then of course back over here you got a Lockheed Lodestar. And they're bringing out another F-86. And they've moved the Mustangs over to this hangar. 